Hello Aquarius, thank you so much for being here. Um, welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're a subscriber. Uh, today we're doing a reading to what you can expect regarding love, what are the current energies for you in love. And then we're going to look a little bit um, at you, your person and your energies. So both of your energies, a little you in them um, towards the end of the reading. Uh, so let's jump right in. As always, keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Aquarius watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. All right, spirits, angels, guides, messages, please, guidance for Aquarius. What are the current energies for Aquarius in love? Yeah, let's see what we got. Knight of Cups. Wow, nice start. Ace of Cups. And the Seven of Cups. I mean, pretty amazing energy. Bottom of the deck and overall energy. The Eight of Wands. So some things move. There's movement. There's action. There's possible communication with the Eight of Wands. Things happen quickly with the Eight of Wands. Um, so I find that very interesting that... We have the Eight of Wands and then the Knight of Cups. So this could be a message from someone, um, an apology perhaps, something that maybe begins a new love, a new um, cycle in your connection with the Ace of Cups. The Seven of Cups is a card about evaluating your choices. Um, it's about looking at every cup and trying to decide which one's the best option but there's a big cloud here so things could be misinterpreted something might look really good at first glance but it's not um, so the seven of cups can also be a card about being confused unsure and needing to really think um, about which choice to make so maybe when you get this offer this knight of cups you have a lot of thinking to do about it you know maybe you're evaluating the offer weighing your options what else do we need to know for aquarius what else do we need to know for aquarius let me grab a stellar energy mirrored souls you mirror each other in the special connection soulmate um mutual feelings fate okay this is from my stellar energy oracle deck by the way all of the decks that i'm using today um the oracle decks i guess i should say are mine i designed them and if you're interested in them you could check them out it, they're linked in the description box all right what else what else for aquarius what else do we need to know about the energies here okay we have reach out take the initiative to reach out so I definitely feel like someone is talking to you or wanting to reach out and then wishing well, your wish is being granted. So maybe this is something that you wanted, maybe your person, this is their wish, their desire to be able to reach out to you uh, with this Knight of Cups. Um, so let's get some clarity here. Get some clarity, some insight for Aquarius. Let's start with this Eight of Wands. We need to know for Aquarius. We need to know. Tell me about this Eight of Wands. What's this Eight of Wands about for Aquarius? Why is the Eight of Wands here? Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Why is the Eight of Wands here? So the Knight of Pentacles is someone that's very secure. They are um, desirable. They're a desirable person. They have a lot to offer. They've worked hard and are kind of reaping the rewards from that. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. It's at the bottom of the deck. Page of Wands. I definitely feel like someone wants an opportunity here with you. It's hoping for maybe their lucky break. Um, with this Nine of Pentacles, which I feel is a symbol for you, Aquarius. Of course, you can always flip this energy uh, because this is what's currently happening for you in love. So it could also be your person's energy that ends up coming out here. But I think that for a lot of you, this is how someone is viewing you. Um, I feel like you are drawing someone in um, and 
you know, their interest is peaked here with the Page of Wands. They're interested. Um, Nine of Wands after that, and then the Knight of Wands. So I'm getting almost like, yeah, there's the Seven of Wands. Someone's expecting your guard to be up when they do reach out or come in with this Page of Wands, Nine of Wands. This is a lot of fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And I feel like they're going to, they're expecting that, you know, maybe the person that they're going towards might have their wall up or might not trust them, might might be wondering why they're there. Um, the Nine of Wands has been through a lot. So maybe they think that um, you're not so easy to approach because of your past or because of the past you have with each other. Um, so I feel like this person's expecting you to be like this, you know, the Seven of Wands when they do come forward. But with this Wheel of Fortune is almost like I don't know, let's turn things around, let's move things, let's move on, let's have, you know, I feel very lucky, to, you know, and, you know, I'm kind of riding on this high and want to see how far it takes me with Aquarius. Can I get one more for this Wheel of Fortune? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Four of Cups. Okay, so what I'm getting here is that your person has the opportunity to reach out but they're re they're uh, expecting rejection or afraid of rejection that's why the four of swords is here it's almost like i don't know if now is the right time what will aquarius think um maybe they're too good for me maybe i'm not good enough for them etc etc um very interesting energy you know aquarius won't be interested why would Aquarius be interested in me? That kind of energy is what I'm picking up here. So let's see what this Knight of Cups is about. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. This could also be an apology from um, someone, a sincere apology, because the Knight of Cups is not someone that plays games. They're very sincere. They kind of wear their heart on their sleeve. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Three of Pentacles, okay. Can I get one more for the Knight of Cups? Why is the Knight of Cups here? Oh, I got two. Nine of Swords and the Chariot, Cancer Energy. Yeah, I feel like whatever this Knight of Cups is, I don't get, I'm not getting um a lot of clarity here. Well, the Five of Pentacles, okay. So for a lot of you, this, not for a lot of you, I was corrected. <laughs> Hmm. Um, some of you, let me start over because I'm getting a lot of messages. Um, for some reason, this person is worried and I'm trying to figure out why. So I'm, I'm like looking at these energies and, and trying to feel this out because it's like someone's worried and stressed with the nine of swords, fearful, but then at the same time, it's like they want to come in, you know? Some of you, this person's coming in from the cold, uh, five of pentacles. So there was some sort of loss with you or difficulty that they are experiencing because of what's happened. Um, maybe they feel abandoned or left behind. Um, I feel like this could also be how you feel. Maybe you feel like this person left you behind. So I'm getting this energy of someone that's coming in with the Knight of cups, but there's a lot of apprehension. Three of Pentacles is telling me that they want to work on things. They want to work together. They see you as a team. But I'm also getting that, you know, because I was getting a ton of messages there. There's There could be someone else. Um, I think that's why there's trust issues. So many messages, but we'll continue and see what else we get. Um, I still feel like no matter what the circumstance, whether there was a third party or there was some sort of history that this person is not worried about, you know, how you feel about them, whatever scenario it is, it doesn't take away from the fact that this person is very apprehensive and hesitant to come forward. And I do sense that they're coming out, they're coming from out, um, uh, they're trying to get back into your good graces. That's the way that I could say it. Yeah, let's start over the fool. Let's, let's start over. Um, you know, and this could be a soulmate. This could be someone you have a past with six of cups. Okay. So let's keep going. Tell me about the ace of cups. 
I feel like this person with the Wheel of Fortune, the Four of Cups, um, it's like they think that they this is their chance. You know? Like, this is my opportunity. This is my chance. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Five of Cups. So, just dis, uh, disappointment, sadness, a sense of loss. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Six of Swords. Yeah. Okay, can I get one more for the Ace of Cups? I'm getting a story here. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Three of Wands. Okay. So I'm getting two, two major messages here. Feel free to take it as it resonates for you. There's the Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I think that this person, one of you left this connection and um, uh, there's regrets about that. Whoever left the connection regrets leaving. If you left the connection, they regret the actions that led you to make that decision. But there's regrets tied to this departure. I feel like that's why it's taking them so long to approach you. Three of Wands. It's like they've been looking at you from afar, keeping tabs on you, but not really ready to reach out just yet. But they're waiting for that window where they can do that. How do I how do I do that? Seven of Cups. What's the best option for me? Um, and also, I feel that when this offer comes in, Aquarius, you're going to be thinking about the past. It's like you can't help it. And maybe you're hesitating on deciding, you know, it's like, let me think on this. I'll get back to you. You might even leave this person on red because you're just not sure if you even want to go back there. Tell me about the seven of cups. Why is the seven of cups here? Four of pentacles. Why is the seven of cups here? That's my dog, <laughs> Henry. Why is the seven of cups here? Four of Wands. So, hmm. Four, interesting number. Stability, endurance. The Lovers, Gemini energy. Interesting, with the Lovers and the Four of Wands, I feel like part of this decision is like, well, I know we have a history. I know it's been difficult, but this is my person. This is my soulmate or our connection is just extremely strong. However, I think there's also a bit of a stubborn energy here. So I have a feeling that this is you evaluating this offer. Some of you, this is your person. Your person cannot let go of your connection. And so they're thinking, how do I get back in? Um, despite the fact that there's a lot that I need to address. Both of you would need to address the elephant in the room, whatever this 10 of wands is, whatever the nine of wands is, it's gonna be different for all of you. But there's a reason why your person is scared of rejection. You're not scared of, re well, I don't wanna generalize, but sometimes people can be really afraid of rejection um, because it's coming out of the blue, but then other people are afraid of rejection because it's almost like they anticipate rejection based on how things have ended or the way that they treated someone. You know, I feel like those are two very diff distinct ways of thinking about rejection, if that makes sense. But whoever this is, they're thinking about a new beginning. There's the world, very similar to the fool. It's almost like we can get past this. Why can't we move on from this? You are my person, the lovers, Gemini energy. We can have harmony again, four of wands. This is my wish, my desire. So let's get some more insight into your energies between each other, like the energies between you, little you and them action. So I'm going to have you, your energies on one side, Aquarius, and your person's energy on the other. Feel free to flip the energies. Sometimes they can uh, be vice versa. If you're enjoying how I read or you just want to support what I do here on YouTube for free, Please consider liking the video or subscribing. I would love to have you. Um, YouTube, for some reason, really values likes and subscribes. Um, so if you can um, do that, that would help me out. All right, for Aquarius, can we get some insight into how they're feeling, thinking about each other? Two cards for Aquarius, two cards for their person. 
What are the energies between Aquarius and this person? Sorry, Aquarius, the video cut off because someone called me even though I have it on Do Not Disturb. Okay, so on your side, we have the Two of Wands, Three of Cups. On their side, we have the Four of Swords and the High Priestess. Interesting. When I see these two energies together, the Four of Swords and the High Priestess, I think of quiet. I think of someone that's holding back. I think of secrets, mystery, because... With the Four of Swords, someone's just thinking, reflecting, and healing. They're not talking, and they're not taking action. I think your person is holding back a lot. And then on your end, it's almost like you're thinking about the past and the future. Which is it? Bottom of the deck is the Six of Swords. Let me see if I can get some more insight here. With the Secret Moon Oracle. Can I get some more insight? for Aquarius and this other person. Tell me more. Tell me more. What is this person thinking, feeling when it comes to Aquarius? I made a mistake. Yeah. Tell me about Aquarius. What do, what do we need to know about Aquarius? I want a second chance. I think this is what you're hearing from this person. You're thinking about what they're telling you. You are my soulmate at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I feel like the fact that you have a strong connection is like a part of the, it's like, it's like a reason for why someone is coming forward. And I feel like you're evaluating this reconnection or like reunion. It's like, is this meant to be? Is this it? Is there anything else that I need to be like thinking about? Um, do I want to go back to the past or do I want to focus on my future? Tell me about the two of wands and the three of cups. Tell me about the two of wands and the three of cups. Ten of wands and king of swords. I feel like you need to hash out whatever it is that is the problem in your connection. I think you, at the very least, just want to clear the air or want answers about whatever history you have with this person. And then maybe after you have that, you'll decide if you want to move forward. The King of Swords is very analytical. They think between the lines. They, you know, they're very perceptive. You know, they, they, they really can analyze and figure things out they're very intelligent so i feel like i'm very honest to the point as well so i feel like this is kind of what you need from this other person and i just don't see how that this four of swords and the high priestess is going to cut it tell me about the four of swords and the high priestess tell me about the four of swords and the high priestess five of swords yeah this person's i mean i hate to say it but I, i'm I'm hearing the word chickening out or they're very scared. Tell me about the four of swords and the high priestess because they're thinking about the conflict between you. Yeah. Page of swords. I think they want to talk though. I think that something will push them to reach out. And didn't you have like a similar reading? What was it last time? They will reach out. Yeah. They were taking a risk and reaching out. So this reading is resonating for you check out the previous reading that i did for your sign because i feel this is similar energy that's continuing now the seven of swords five of swords and page of swords i feel this person is secretly like observing you keeping tabs on you um the seven of swords okay this is not for everyone it's a very specific message but it's for someone watching this person is like creating different accounts so that you don't know they're keeping tabs on you. It's very sneaky behavior. Yeah, they think they're slick. <laughs> um, I feel like if that's resonating for you, you kind of already can smell that. It's like you kind of can know that about them, that they would do that. It's really funny. I mean, it's kind of creepy, but at the same time, it's kind of funny that they think that they could do that and you wouldn't notice. The moon, Pisces energy. Oh yeah, this person, they're like terrified. Um, they, they're keeping things to themselves. 
and they are terrified because they know they have to make the first move and it's from like the defensive side you know it's like it's like i have to go in i have to talk to aquarius and there's a very good chance i'm going to be torn to shreds you know and i deserve that am i going to be okay with that that's the energy i'm picking up here i feel like this person they're thinking about a lot of things in secret and I don't think it's because they can't admit it to you. I think they're just terrified of your reaction. I'm speaking to an Aquarius that this person has something to be worried about. It's like maybe you you had a very difficult ending, very vocal or conflict driven, maybe dramatic. Um, maybe this person screwed up so bad that for them to even show themselves to you again it's like the audacity, you know, and maybe they already know that, you know, tell me if that's resonating for you. I'm going to take this to the extended because I want to look at um, what the future energies are between you and this person. And then we're going to dive deeper into your person's energy, their intentions, thoughts, feelings, and next possible actions. So if you want to know more, uh, check out the bonus extended. It's linked in the description box. 